Do not like yeah, fast food. McDonald's garbage. Burger King, the worst. Whose corner are you in? The feud between the King and Ronald McDonald has been going on for years. Like the coyote trying to outsmart the roadrunner, things never seem to go as planned for the King. So pick a side if you must and enjoy these 10 reasons why Burger King fell behind McDonald's. Tim Horton, Popeye, and the King. We all family now. A major difference in the success of Burger King and McDonald's relates directly to their individual business plans regarding company acquisitions. While McDonald's has dabbled in the past with purchasing other smaller fast food chains, it has found its greatest success focusing directly on the McDonald's brand itself and has mostly left partnerships with other chains in the past. Unfortunately, Burger King's parent company has taken a drastically different approach to the subject and has recently purchased the rights to both the Tim Hortons and Popeye's name. Welcome to my world. Although in theory, this sounds like a plan for success, with each restaurant having their own respective fan bases, some seriously flawed decision-making over the past 10 years has left not only Burger King neglected, but the other restaurants overly promoted and undervalued. Luckily, the recent Popeye's chicken sandwich has increased the brand's popularity, but the parent company needs to put major focus into all three restaurants if Burger King hopes to find success once again. My arms are tired. Vegetarian meals were a massive failure. Yep, eat it. Put it in your mouth and just eat it. Take God, a bit. I hate it. With the introduction of the Impossible Whopper in 2018, Burger King officially entered the vegetarian fast food game, although many other restaurants were already offering alternative vegetarian options. This new campaign was focused on an international rollout for the new meatless Whopper, as opposed to individual franchises opting in or out of offering the vegetarian option, depending on location. Unfortunately for many vegetarian Burger King fans, the success of the Impossible Whopper has been hindered by serious issues not considered by corporate at the time of the launch. The burger is not only non-vegan, but it is also actually cooked on the same grill as the chicken and beef patties, rendering the burgers themselves now questionably vegetarian. <laughs> hey, this is all about board. When this news hit the ears of consumers, it became another failure that would seriously cost this company credibility when looking towards establishing trustworthy customer relationships. It's important that companies focus on their ethics while releasing and advertising new products, and make sure they are actually delivering what is promised, as opposed to be what they consider to be good enough. Customer loyal tea. What is it? BK Breakfast Rush needs a boost. Why did they eat them for breakfast? Although they have been selling breakfast since the early 1980s, unfortunately for Burger King, their biggest competitor, McDonald's, is seen as the industry standard since the introduction of the Egg McMuffin in 1972. It was now time for Burger King to play a serious game of catch-up, an unfortunate recurring theme when it comes to McDonald's and Burger King's troubled relationship. Although more than likely you have made the choice at some point or another to grab a croissant sandwich on the way to work, the Burger King breakfast menu is largely considered a current failure. Only making up approximately 15% of the day-to-day -day sales, breakfast is not making nearly enough cash for the Burger King business. Look at it this way. When you had breakfast this morning, did you pay for it? No. One of the more debated reasons for their perceived failure would be the lack of focus on the coffee market. As the most common addiction in the world, caffeine itself has the pull necessary to bring customers back time and time again. Again. While McDonald's were busy creating and expanding its line of McCafe beverages and a coffee brand adored by many happy customers, Burger King has gotten lost. It's time for BK to focus on a seriously good coffee brand and some new, fresh breakfast menu items that will appeal to the new generation. Daddy, breakfast. BK advertising that turned off the public. Because the next advertisement you see could destroy your house and eat your family. One of the things that fans adore about Burger King are their fun and classic advertisements. The King himself has been featured in many commercials, in addition to other ad campaigns that take a jovial dig at their biggest competitor, McDonald's. Despite having several successful campaigns over the years, some of Burger King's recent advertisements have been incredibly polarizing, and many have appeared almost downright offensive. Must wash eyes. The Real Meals, an oppositional product to the famous Happy Meal, were supposed to 
to promote a sense of mental health awareness. Unfortunately, the campaign was seen more as tasteless than informative. Multiple other advertisements have been banned or considered scandalous in regards to their often blatant sexist, rude, or sometimes racially insensitive campaigns. In the past, issues like this were quickly forgotten. However, as times progress and change, it is incredibly important that Burger King use advertisements that appeal to the masses instead of excluding or offending potential customers. You know, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Burger King at home and abroad. Oh, I love Burger King, don't you? It's extremely important that we recognize that although the Burger King brand is struggling in the United States, where it was founded, the international platform has greatly expanded. In fact, the international branding may be so successful that it may be one of the obstacles to greater success in the Western market. With an abundance of focus being placed towards these new locations on a global scale, the outdated restaurants of America are growing less and less appealing to the changing domestic market. Oh, a customer. Oh no, never mind. Continued focus on expansion meant that the locations that built the brand were being left to fend for themselves without any attention and care besides that of the struggling franchise owners themselves. Although this expansion has been phenomenal for the Burger King brand in general, it has left a bad taste in the mouths of its American fan base, one of the most crucial on the planet. Bad reviews can quickly turn into bad business on a global scale, and Burger King needs to focus on the home base once again in order to establish themselves as a familiar favorite. Who needs a king? No, no king, king, no king. BK's focus on imitation. We are going to swallow our pride. One of Burger King's biggest mistakes of the last 30 years was a failed campaign which featured their own versions of some of McDonald's biggest menu items. The idea was that if they offered all of the same types of burgers, there would be no need to ever visit the competitor. Although arguably Burger King has long been imitating McDonald's, these new menu additions were blatant knockoffs of some of the most iconic McDonald's items. The Big King was rolled out as an almost identical replica of the Big Mac, the Big Fish was launched to compete against the filet fish sandwich, and double versions of the sandwiches were also available. Looks like I got a little brother! Met with relative success, Burger King has continued to focus on imitation with products like a version of the Quarter Pounder and seasonal McRib sandwich. Although it may be able to snag a few customers, Burger King needs to focus on revamping their original menu with fresh items and focus on their own classic staple menu items. There are lots of burger fans out there waiting for their next jaw-dropping sandwich and plenty of room for everyone at the party. You're always so miserable. Here, try this. Get that garbage out of my face. The Burger King Appeal. How do I look? As most retailers are aware, the most important demographic for sales is the age group between 18 to 30. If the young people deem that something is cool, then odds are it will succeed. Unfortunately for Burger King, it seems the last time they were able to appeal to young adults was during its golden early years in the 80s and early 90s. Since the days of neon fashion and then grunge, when the king had a say at the fast food table, Burger King has struggled to revamp and once again find themselves on the outside looking in on those who have turned from fatty burgers to fresh avocado toast. Avocado. Missing out on some major cues over the last 20 years, Burger King has outdated itself by refusing to continuously update and act as a progressive frontrunner in the fast food race. In the modern day, where there are more competitive fast food restaurants than ever before on Earth, Burger King needs to continuously push in a forward direction so that they are able to appeal to the younger demographic while also inspiring nostalgia for long-time Burger King fans. Once things like the promotional menu items, the franchise locations, and the advertising advertising structure have been updated, the restaurant will no longer be standing in the shadows of the Golden Arches. Stupid clown! The BK Restaurant of the Future. I come from yet another distant future. As many may remember, the 2010s saw a lot of different fast food chains such as Wendy's, Taco Bell, and McDonald's focusing on cleaning up their restaurant's image, both in physical locations and in terms of persona. Burger King absolutely missed the memo in terms of cleaning up their restaurant image, which has left the brand seeming stale, outdated, and greasy in terms of both their restaurant locations and the menu items themselves. The good news 
news is that Burger King is slowly working towards cleaning up their menus after launching the Restaurant of the Future initiative that would mean updating the restaurants with touchscreen ordering systems, new design concepts, new menu display boards, and many other fun and exciting restaurant additions more in tune with 2020 rather than 1990. Welcome back. These renovations plan to focus heavily on updates needed due to the recent pandemic. Additional safety precautions, a focus on park and order spots, pickup windows, and more are in the plans. Although they may have struggled in the past, Burger King has picked the absolute perfect time to renovate, as it has never been more necessary than it is today. It will be exciting to watch as these new restaurants are unveiled internationally. It's amazing that decades after their closure, drive-in restaurants appear to be the way of the future once again. Hold on, drive through. Focus on the classics. What goes around comes around. Although the Whopper is easily one of the most recognizable fast food menu items anywhere on the globe, the Burger King menu is not quite as memorable as their largest competitor, the Big M. While McDonald's has gone back to their basics and have heavily promoted classic menu items like their Big Mac, Quarter Pounder, filet of fish and iconic french fries, Burger King has taken a very different approach. McDonald's works hard developing long-term customers who will continually return for their favorite menu items. But Burger King has placed their efforts towards new and exciting promotional items that bring in massive numbers within the first few weeks of release, but often fizzle out quickly after the product's novelty has worn off. What are those fireworks for, Mother? Despite having been in business for nearly 70 years, Burger King's continued focus on promotional products has meant that the BK menu has remained largely without a true identity. It's sometimes difficult to order at Burger King because you never know the staple menu items that are available, unlike with McDonald's. Fast food needs to be easy, and with a menu that is constantly changing, it is very difficult to develop a fan base that craves the Burger King classics. Once that love of the original menu has been restored, the king shall conquer all. My crown is a symbol of my king-like authority. McDonald's instills franchise confidence. They don't care if you make money as long as they make money. What kind of corporation does that? One of Burger King's major barriers to achieving success is instilling confidence within the franchise owners. The standardization and household name of McDonald's makes franchise owners feel incredibly comfortable in trusting the corporate decisions being made at the head office. While Burger King's history is fraught with schemes that have panned out poorly, there have been few major missteps in McDonald's history. Somehow, the brand always seems to be one step ahead of the curve, leaving Burger King to play catch-up. This becomes increasingly evident in terms of restaurant renovations and major menu changes. I love Burger King bathrooms. Franchise owners who are only dealing with relative success are unlikely to feel comfortable putting up money in order to complete any proposed changes planned by corporate. Once the restaurants start seeing the results as promised, it will be much easier for the company to continue acting progressively, which will enable them to become the game changers instead of simple players following the rules that have been set for them. Feel regal and royally tap on one of our other great videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.